I'm being honest. And I'm being honest. I'm just 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 being honest. sensationalism and they're going to probably try and prescribe you a pill that will probably mess up your immune system break your nervous nervous system down and then you are now prone to illnesses viruses you probably die from cardiac arrest and all these things this is what they're acquiring to do because they do not want you to accomplish your task they're trying to kill you so you can now continue the path that you are currently walking. I thank all of you who are here right now wanting to find the truth, wanting to find the understanding and wanting to know that there is a way, that there is an opportunity for you to become a person of purpose, a person of passion, a person that is divine, a person that is divinely one, reunited and in sync with their spirit, the spirit of our Father up in heaven, Jesus Christ. If you guys don't know by now, Jesus Christ is God. Okay? I'm sure you've, you've heard it. I'm sure you guys can go back to the other episodes and check it out for yourself. Jesus Christ is God. Alright? But now, now that you guys have finally gotten to a point where you've answered questions, where those questions are now being answered to you, you're now seeking and you're now seeing it. This part of what you're listening to is going to be your discipleship. Your discipleship. For you were given a task here on earth. This is to all my divine light beings. 
who's been pressed against the wall, I want you to know that you are safe and you are being taken care of. We will take care of you. Now, the discipleship program is only for the people who are focused on the truth. Only for the people who are wanting to know the truth. Your eyes are going to be open, and the words that I'm going to be speaking to you from are not my words. They are words from our Father up in heaven that I've been directed towards the truth because I have a task on giving you guys the discipleship on how you are supposed to go about the world today. Because the world today is not for us. The world today is not for the people who are trying to live in the spirit. Or for the people who are trying to become gods themselves. The reason why you felt out of place, the reason why you feel like you don't fit in is because you don't. You are not supposed to fit in. They say complacency is the worst place to be in, and I agree, a lot of people are complacent with the world today. A lot of people are complacent with their circumstances. A lot of people are complacent with their emotional state, and the worst part about everything a lot of people are not only complacent about their spirit, but they are ignorant on the fact. They don't even know what their spirit is truly capable of or what their spirit is about. You are that spirit. You are not the flesh. You are not the skin and bones that we have here on this earthly realm. You are the being that is inside that is, every day, every day, oh so slightly, oh so gently, dying. You are dying every day. I want you guys to know that. This is, this is why when you hear the Bible speak about or translate about death or life, <coughs> that words will speak death or life into people. Because that's the truth. Every day people are dying or living. They are dying or being reborn. They are dying and decaying inside or they are becoming and living their purpose. You, as a human being, remember, being is your lineage, is your legacy. Being is existing. It's always existing, meaning you've been created already to exist. So all because you leave here, here on this earth, doesn't mean you're laying down in a tomb waiting. No, no, no. You have now passed the threshold of the earthly realm to now the beyond, beyond the earthly realm. And if you are a person with no light, with no knowledge of your legacy, of your origin, of your lineage, you're going to go and, 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 and transfer over into the beyond in darkness. That's why they say darkness. The place was filled with darkness, with, with, with a void, with ignorance. And when you translate that into the Hebrew text, what darkness meant, they're talking about ignorance. They're talking about your lack there of knowledge of your spiritual self is what's causing your life to be the way that it currently is. The world, society knows this because Lucifer is in charge of society. Lucifer is in charge of governments. Lucifer is in charge of the money system. 
Lucifer is in charge of the world's domain. We will speak on that. We have spoken on that, on a reason on why he has received his own kingdom. Here is his kingdom. We are part of his creation in this kingdom. And therefore, why you hear the negative things in your head, why you hear that you're not good enough in your head, why you hear that you'll never be perfect, why you hear all the stuff in your head is because it's Lucifer, the devil, speaking and saying that you are not capable. You are not capable. You hear that over and over and over and over. And then you start to believe it. You start to let it become your DNA. You start to let it become your identity that you are not capable. And this will lead into many more manifestations and attractions of other mental and spiritual illnesses and attacks. And now the world is under attack. It is under the people in this world are under attack. The world is now showing its true colors. I want you to know this. The world is now showing you what they're really about. <coughs> you can see the multiple amount of movies that are coming out even now. Guys, they're making a superhero called Black Adam, and we all know if you ever watched DC or studied DC or just looked at a comic of its origin, Black Adam wasn't a person to say that, oh, he lived by his own right. No, he was someone who was also a sinner. He was envious. He was angry. He was prideful. And as a result, he receives powers for this prideful way and decided to do his own thing. They are trying to, because I want you to know, Oscar Wilde says, life imitates art. <coughs> so I'm going to tell you the psyop warfare behind all these movies that are showing you the gray scale of life, the, 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 the gray scale of saying, let's live in between. You don't have to be good. But you don't have to be bad. You can try and live in this lukewarm environment, this warm bath. Come take this warm bath, you know, where you could like possibly be okay. You can hear, the, you can get the cold. You can be mean sometimes, upset, be a monster, be angry. Be, as long as you could show or have a certain <coughs> projection of love or affection towards someone, whatever love language that possibly is, then you're just human. You're just, that's okay. You Like, we are all people who make mistakes. And that's, that's all right. But I want you to know what a mistake is. A mistake is showing that you're doing wrong and planning a correction. When you get one plus one and you say it's three the teacher doesn't mark it wrong and then half right they don't say yeah yeah don't worry about it no they correct it it's a mistake a mistake should always be corrected you should always understand if there are characteristics inside you that are not actually benefiting you or your social circle or your environment then it is a mistake to have that characteristic and therefore if we look at the framework of a mistake then we should do our part <coughs> in rescinding that mistake taking care of that mistake becoming a better version of ourselves by changing that mistake. <clears throat> but a lot of people are not doing that. A lot of people are not 
living that way. A lot of people are not trying to own up to their mistakes. And therefore, we're losing the art of accountability. This world has lost the concept of accountability. And as a result, is allowing anything to happen. We can now allow boys to pretend to be girls and go into a girl's washroom and possibly rape them. Now we understand that that is wrong as a consensus, as the world. And I don't mean the whole world because when I'm actually making mention, I'm talking to North America. North America, you guys are on a whole new level of craziness. Complete bonkers. The whole world doesn't look at your point of view as the right point of view, but again, they have their own point of view too, which is not exactly right either. But however, it's not really a sideshow. It's not really cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <coughs> so, I had to get a drink, guys. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I was like getting kind of chafe and everything, so I'm human. Right? So I'm, I'm human, I have a earthly body. So it does get chafe. I am on the little six side, but it's time, right? It's the weather, the weather changes and all this other stuff. Uh, but like I was saying, like we are getting <coughs> <coughs> to the task at hand. The end times are here. Okay, so I want you to like to get it into your head that what we're going to be experiencing is really um, negative it's really it's 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 going to be worse it's not going to be better as you can tell things are coming back new viruses here in north america and in canada at that ontario teachers are now planning to go back on strike <coughs> affecting more and more working parents so we got to ask ourselves what's the agenda right what's what is the purpose for all this what what is the purpose for the chaos what is the purpose for the the menace the the civil unrest why are we going through so much issues? Why are we going through so much pain? Why, why are we experiencing so much battles, so much hassle? And I feel that when people don't understand the logic, when people don't get the, the, the concept, <clears throat> when they don't perceive the truth, then a lot of things get spoiled. A lot of things, um, propaganda gets put into the world and a lot of people now create their own perception, their own idea of, oh, well, this is why this world's happening to this. And then they stand by it. They live by that banner and they consistently go by that belief. And, and it's so crazy that the power of belief can, uh, can, can lead a man into killing someone. I need you guys to understand that the power of belief could lead a person into killing somebody. The <laughs> U campus is now finally officially open. So take the course. It's not expensive at all. Uh, it's not a subscription base. All right. It is a one time. So you can take as much time as possible to get it done. Guys, take the course. Here's the barcode. Pause it. Scan the barcode, get into the course, guys. I love y'all. Peace. So, <coughs> sorry, guys. If we understand these concepts and these frameworks, then we should start putting more precedence on what we believe in. We should now start putting more um, concern and priority into knowing the truth, into wanting to know 
the truth and wanting to know how we are going to be able to become the best version of us, which are gods. That is the best version. That is the perfect version. Children of Jesus Christ. When you can become that, then you are set for life. You are going to be living heaven on earth. That was a promise. It was spent. It was put in the good book, put in any book, any spiritual context. You can hear about it. They put it in. The, the names and the characters are changed. However, the same message is kind of, kind of, kind of the same, guys. And maybe you need to know your beliefs is what's going to dictate where you go. And I need people to understand that. You can be living a mistake. You can be living, and it's okay. It's, it's, it's not a horrible thing. It's not the end of the world to be living a mistake. It's not the end of the world to be going the wrong way in life. And then you reach the bottom. It's not the end of the world. You know what's so great about it? Being able to get back up and move. Because from that moment, when you've reached the bottom, from that moment, the minute you decide to just move, the only place you can go is where? If you are in rock bottom, the only place you can go is where? So, I encourage most of you who are experiencing a lot of pain and grief and torment, um, loneliness, abandonment, um, all those things that you've been watching other people talking about the chosen. <clears throat> I'm talking to you guys because you guys are the end time disciples. You guys are the ones that are giving people hope. And you are giving them the truth to a certain degree. But now it's time for you guys to get the truth. And if you're here, that means your heart is in the right place. So, <clears throat> the first one, those of you are my end time disciples who want to serve me by taking care of the distribution because error has increased to an alarming extent. <coughs> Because this is the final weapon in the battle against the light, which the adversary diligently strives to extinguish. It is your task to take direct action against the error, to expose my adversary, and to always stand up for the pure truth, which you receive from me directly. And even if you make enemies, you must accept it. If you want to be of service to me, for there is only one truth, and you receive it directly from me. For this reason, I use an empty vessel, <clears throat> which I have not accepted any kind of prior knowledge, in order to be able to pour in my spirit without the resistance which already e existing knowledge would have caused. Thus, I was able to instruct a person. I was able to place him into a state of realization. I was able to present my eternal plan of salvation to him and explain to him the meaning and purpose of existence. This vessel had to be <coughs> completely empty, uncommitted to religious teaching, free from all ideas and so devoted to me that I was able to fill it, that it accepted everything the eternal truth presented to it without opposition. Thus a person was introduced to knowledge which he previously did not possess. In a matter of speaking, a region was opened to him which he never before had entered, which was alien to him until I myself allowed him to gain an insight into this region. And the fact that this happened <coughs> in all truthfulness cannot be denied, for my promise is as follows, I will guide you into all truth. If I therefore recognize that all preconditions are in place, which are required for the fulfillment of my promise, then you must not doubt, for I keep my word. 
but you must also support my word before the world, for you are in possession of the pure truth from me. And thus you also receive the information <coughs> about my reign and activity of creation of the spirits, of their apostasy, of the emergence of creation, and my plan of return. And you possess knowledge of your beginning and your final goal. All those of you who take note of this knowledge will thereby attain a degree of realization which already signifies advancement. A certain maturity of soul, which I indeed intend to achieve by conveying this knowledge. For only the truth can achieve this. This is why you, my end time disciples, are instructed to stand up for the truth of the knowledge I have conveyed to you and all those of who were introduced to the knowledge through my bearers of light are my disciples for I do not convey my word to earth for one person but through one for all those who accept it and they too can regard themselves as disciples of the last days they'll be able to observe strong counteractivity on part of one who once caused your fall <clears throat> in his eyes you are bearers of light and he tries to extinguish it he fights against you with cunning and trickery and his sole purpose is to <coughs> draw you under his spell to undermine the pure truth to extinguish the light and to plunge you into darkness again but he will not succeed for where I myself am at work through my spirit there is bright light and the truth enlightens it exposes him and his activity and cannot be obscured again because it originates from me. Because the spirit of light is at my disposal, which likewise keeps itself close to my adversary's activity. You humans must always bear in mind that the end time messengers will descend from above who will not succumb to his artful temptations who are only receptive for the pure truth from above, which would never give in to his whisperings. <clears throat> and thereby make themselves unsuitable for the receipt of the pure truth. And thus you can safely grant credence to the words, for it is a great gift of grace that I look after those people who do not want to fall prey to error, who only ever want to live according to my will, and whom I therefore will also protect from the adversary's influence. But he will try to take action against the light until the end. And where people are willing, he will also be successful. Therefore, pay attention to the end disciples and accept my gift of grace. For as soon as they stand up for the word <coughs> they have received from me directly, you may grant them credits and you will not regret it. For soon the end will come and with it the last judgment, the day of decision over life and death. Then those of you who have kept my word can consider yourselves blessed, for you will enter into eternal life. So there you have it, my disciples. The world, as we know it, as we used to know it, never going to be the same again. We need to play our part. I'm talking to you guys, we need to play our part in achieving our childship of God. I will be telling you and instructing you on more messages from our Father very soon. I love you guys. I always have and I always will. It's time to find the love inside you. I'm being honest. And I'm being honest. I'm just 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 being honest. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just being honest. <laughs>